Well, hello, Monica here. I hope you are doing well. I am going to share with you a few different ways that you can wear a trench coat for the fall season. And I'm gonna be styling this beige, mid-length baby doll style trench coat. But as you can imagine, there are many different styles that you can go for from a full length to a more relaxed fitting trench coat or a black or a khaki or a navy. So whichever style that you maybe currently already own in your wardrobe or maybe one that's on your wish list, hopefully you'll be able to get some inspo from these outfit ideas. So the first outfit idea is wearing your trench coat with a fancier, fancier, blouse underneath and this one here is an off-white and it buttons all the way up to the top so it's a high neck and it has that lace detail so that's my style I love feminine pieces and light colors and I bring that into my outfits season to season now if your style is more minimal or maybe depending on the color palette that you have in your closet that is absolutely fine you can still have a fancier blouse and use that to really shine through. So the point of it is so that it peeks through and shines through when you're wearing your trench coat. So let me show you. Now here I have the option to just leave my coat open without buttoning it up or tying it. And again, you can see the whole outfit. If I do want to snuggle up a little bit more, what I love to do is actually take the belt. So if your trench coat has a belt, I love to take the belt and just do one relaxed tie without buttoning it up. And it makes it a little bit more casual because I have this dressy top underneath. And because I have a high neck, it makes it stand out even more. And that's also perfect for fall. This is long sleeve, it's high up, and it gives me some more, <laughs> some more warmth underneath. Now for my bottoms, I am wearing these beige pants, and I purchased these recently, so they should still be available. I will leave all the details in the description. Now what I will say is I will likely get these tailored and, and hemmed up maybe a few inches. That's the thing, I'm 5'3", so I'm petite, and when it comes to pants, I can have that problem. And I would, side note, probably also size up. I have thicker thighs, and with that, it's, it's kind of difficult to find the right fitting pants. That being said, this is the outfit. What I love about this outfit is having that same beige color throughout. So even though these pants are a darker beige, darker than the trench coat, and though I have a lighter top, it is off-white. And with paired with my shoes, these are my rose gold birdies. It has that same beige undertones to it. So I'm, I'm going kind of slightly monochromatic, though again, this is a lighter top. But just pairing the trench coat color with the similar colors throughout the other pieces of the outfit. So if you have a solid black trench coat, then you can pair this blouse with a black wash denim. So a little bit of a gray undertone. Or if you have a navy, then you can play with those different hues of navy within your outfit. So that is what I love about this outfit. Now, if you're finding that this is a little bit too dressy for you, then actually what I usually typically pair my fancy tops, fancy blouses with is a pair of jeans. A pair of blue denim would be perfect. And that's the great thing about having a staple blouse in your closet is being able to dress it up or dress it down. And I know right now we may not be going out and about as much as we would like to, but I'm finding even if I'm going to the grocery store, I wanna dress up a little bit because going from months and months and months of just wearing sweats and sneakers, just having something that makes me happy and wearing my favorite pieces even if I'm going to the grocery store, or even if you're going for your daily walk outside, throw on your trench coat, wear your favorite top. So don't be afraid to, to get dressed up, even if it's an hour or two. Feel good with what you're wearing. Next up is a jumpsuit. Yes, I love a good old jumpsuit, and throwing a trench coat over it is perfection. Now, 
I love this one. It's actually from my boutique from a few seasons ago, but I love this because it's all black. I know I'm making an exception, but I'll do that when it comes to a jumpsuit. I love this because it's crop length. It's a wide leg, which is perfect for me as being on the petite side. But even if you're taller, this would also be something that would be great for you as well. I did pair it with some suede black pumps. This is a little bit more dressed up, but I'm bringing that suede element, which reminds me of fall. Now this is something I would wear for maybe outdoor dining where I'm gonna need my trench coat over top and I'm gonna have it buttoned up or for the holidays. Maybe you have just a small family dinner at home for the holidays and you wanna dress up a little bit. Maybe you don't wanna wear a dress, but you wanna be comfortable and that is where a jumpsuit like this one comes in now because it's fall and because i love layering we're keeping the jumpsuit and we're bringing back the fancy top and i just think that this is perfect again for your trench coat opportunity and here's where you can layer it for warmth but also for style and you're still going to see both of these pieces underneath your coat here I can do a little button and do a tie do I want to pop a collar I don't know maybe I do this time I paired the jumpsuit with suede booties this is perfect because this jumpsuit again it's wide leg and it just brings more of that fall style to it wearing some booties if you don't want to go with the pumps but I love a good layered jumpsuit with the fancy top underneath and your trench coat. And here's where we are taking it down a few notches. We're going super casual with the basic tee, some blue denim and sneakers. And these are actually the shoes that in my last styling video, I told you I wanted to tell you all about. They're from Cezanne and they're actually leather and they're beige. So instead of your typical white sneaker, which I love, these beige leather ones brings that fall element. And it's also, it's, it's a, tiny bit more dressy when you're wearing the casual tee and jean and it goes perfectly with the trench coat. Now I chose this tee because it's actually of a thicker material which is perfect for the fall time. So if you want something that is lightweight underneath so you could just throw over your coats or you can potentially obviously layer another piece underneath, even a long sleeve tee if you wanted to, but this one is that thicker material and it's beige, so it goes with this color palette here. And you gotta love your basic tee, your jeans, and your sneakers. Even if you wanted to wear a white v-neck pocket tee, that would be perfect. You can do a little front tuck like I always do here. And of course you can wear it open or here's the perfect opportunity to do your little tie. Or here's where I would properly tie my belt loop together and have that sleek, that sleek look. And of course I needed to add an outfit with a baby doll dress with my baby doll style trench coat. And this is actually the reason why I purchased this trench coat many years ago. I actually didn't mention this, but I've had this particular one for at least, at least six years. And I wanted something to wear over a dress when I was out and about, when I worked in the city in San Francisco and my coworkers and I would go out just for dinner. And if we wanted to get dressed up and in the city because it's cold and windy at night, yet we wanted to wear something like a nice dress, I, need, I needed a coat that would pair with that nicer dress. And that is exactly why I wanted the trench coat in the very beginning. So I've had this for, for many, many years. Now I love dresses with sneakers or dresses with flats. So I would just pair these with my leather sneakers nowadays. But if I wanna be a little bit more dressed up, of course you can wear a nice heel or even a booty, even knee high booties if that's your style for fall or ankle length booties, uh, even a taupe or beige pair something that would cover your legs if you needed that. But I, again, this style of trench coat is perfect with this style of dress. I wanted to add in a longer dress, a maxi dress, 
with these outfit ideas because I absolutely love that look with a trench coat. Now ideally, you would want your trench coat to be a few inches longer or a few inches shorter than your dress, but here it's really not a make or break style. I would still definitely wear this long dress. I mean, I love this one. I have to just mention that though, <laughs> though this one is, it has that floral, so it kind of has a spring summer look to it, but with the green tone and with the trench coat, and with the leather sneakers, it brings that fall look as well. So like I mentioned, though ideally a relaxed, long flowing trench coat would pair probably work best with a longer dress, it's not a make or break. It's not a reason for me to buy, go out and buy a brand new trench coat. So you can see I've had this one for many, many years and it still works well with my wardrobe. Now, now just years later, I do have a more relaxed <laughs> trench coat on my wish list. But again, you don't have to go out and buy every single style of coat to work with your wardrobe. Well, there you go. That completes my styling video on trench coats for the fall season. I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope it gave you some ideas for to pair with your own style for fall leading into winter. I will leave all the details down below with the outfits that I shared today. Again, like I mentioned though, I've had this one for many, many years. I will do my best to find similar ones and the ones that I have my eye on as well. So thank you so much again for hanging out with me. I hope you're enjoying my style fashion videos on my channel and I hope to see you in the next one.